The Macaulay basketball team is chugging along this season with an impressive 18 and one record. They tried to keep the good times going tonight against CCS. Macaulay making seven footer David Craig go low for the introductions. Come on, man. Colin Clarity counters by going high off the glass. Nice move. Speaking of nice moves, Reed Conley. Get out of here. Kid is an eighth grader. He led the Chargers in scoring with 11 points. Start of the second quarter, Macaulay coach David Conrad. He says, get the ball to the big guy. Guess who had Macaulay's first two buckets of the quarter? Craig the hoop and foul. Then Wilson Rankin pops it to Craig for another easy two. Easy night for Big Blue. They win 54 to 21. Walker Valley comes to Tyner Academy after a huge win over rival Bradley Central last week. Mustangs playing catch up at the end of the first. Herbert Brapson drains a three. He led Walker Valley with 13. Heath Davis dribbles around and slings in another one to get the Mustangs within two. Still a tight match in the third. That's when Nehemiah Bloodsaw comes alive. He sinks the turnaround. What a shot. And he steps around the D for another basket. Bloodsaw had 25 points for Tyner. No stopping the Ram train with Bloodsaw raking it in. Tyner wins 60 to 49. Ringgold's O'Reilly Matthews gets the all clear to face rival LFO. Warriors Brent Bowman specializes in the spin move, gets free for the fall away. Then in the lane, he does it again. Like the fans at shirt says, Brent isn't overrated. Nice to know. Tigers Jordan Weidman muscles home too. Strength there, speed here as Alex Odding blows down the lane. Tigers down only two at the break. Second half, though, all Warriors. Jamichael Davis bags at three. LFO enjoys a 67-48 victory.